Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here, and today we're going to continue our Electron tutorial series. And today we're going to be working with um, dialog previews and dialog boxes, things like that inside of Electron. So let's get started. Currently, all I have in my application is a folder location. So imagine we're trying to create an app and we want to be able to do something like this. So we're going to do open folder, and we open this dialog box. See this right here? We want to open this. So uh, let's basically create this where I can select a folder and then open it. So, and I can also determine if the user cancels as well. So right here, I can select a folder and click select or I can hit cancel and we want to be able to handle that. So right now, um, all it does is when I click this, it just alerts and so yeah, let's get started. In the render.js, instead of alerting, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to basically make a IPC call to um, open dialog and get the results. So to do that, let's actually go into our preload.js script and create a new method inside of our API. If you don't know or are a little confused by what this context bridge is, uh, I would highly recommend you watch my previous tutorials on it because it's a very important thing for security. But Basically, in the actual render, I can just do something like API dot um, open dialog pop up, we'll call it. And we'll say is equal to await that. Um, yeah, so now let's create this function open dialog pop up is what it's called. Let's copy that. API. So we'll have this, it'll be a function, which then what we'll do is we'll do IPC render dot invoke and we'll do open uh, or select, select folder and we'll call this that as well. So instead of open dialogue, uh, select folder pop up, it's probably better. Select folder pop up. There we go. That's a lot better of a name. Beautiful. So now that we have that, and in here, what we're going to do is we're going to do an IPC render dot invoke. Again, I covered this in the previous episode. It'll return a promise. So now let's actually write out this code inside of our uh, index.js. So coming down here, we have access to our IPC main in our main process. So I will do, I'll just get rid of that. IPC main dot handle. So handle is how we actually um, get access to that invoke call from the render process. And what did we call it? I already forgot. Oh, preload, sorry. Here we go. Select dash folder, and I'll call it select folder pop up. Beautiful. And we'll just pass in true by default. Okay. So in the index.js, we can pass in this, and we have access to our handler. And the arguments, do a little arrow function. Okay, so we don't actually need access to the args, but if we did, that would be simply the true we passed in. So let's get access to that. So one thing I want to do is I'm going to want to create a function that actually opens this pop-up window. And I'm going to do that in this dialog window.js file. So I'm going to create a function called, I'm going to make it an asynchronous function as well. Async function um, user selects folder. Beautiful. Ace, A-S-Y, there we go. <laughs> Spelling. Beautiful. And in here, we are going to get access to dialog, D I A L O G, and is equal to require electron. So, this dialog module is what we'll actually do to actually, uh, it comes with electron, and it's how we'll actually create our dialog window. So, I'm going to export this function. So, I'm going to just call it um, select and select folder. Beautiful. So now we should have access to this in the index.js file. And to do that, I'm just going to do const 
user select is equal to require dot slash and we can get it in our dialog window beautiful so in here that is an asynchronous function yeah beautiful terms of promise so we are going to need to make sure this is an asynchronous function as well oh my spelling in sync okay and as so we'll say const um, pop up is equal to wait user select folder. Beautiful. Okay. And then we will just return pop up results when we're done. So what we're basically doing here is we're going to, in our render process, we're going to make a call to the IPC main which will then handle this in this function. We'll actually create the pop-up window, get the user's results, and see if they cancel. We'll return it back, and then we'll have access to that in the results. So let's actually see how we do that now. So in the user select folder, we are gonna use this dialog uh, option. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say const results is equal to dir, uh, or sorry, dialog dot, and here we have options. We have like a show save dialog, um, show message dialog, show open dialog, uh, and there's synchronous versions as well, show certificate trust dialog, things like that. What we wanna do is we wanna do show open dialog. And this is a function that takes in an object. Inside this object, we have different parameters we can pass in, like properties is one of them, okay? And this is an array of uh, properties so like selecting multiple files for multiple selections we could do and since we, we can do multiple things here such as create directory open directory what we want though is open directory okay. beautiful so when we have this this is an asynchronous result so it's not going to happen necessarily right at once so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do results Results dot then, okay. Pass this into the error function, and we'll want to do results dot catch, and pass the error message. Beautiful. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to uh, resolve this as a promise. So I'm going to return a new. success and reject and I'm just going to place all this in there. Beautiful. If we get an error, we're just going to reject the error message. And the results will just success them. Beautiful. So that is actually it for our function. What we're basically doing is we are opening a or a uh, pop-up window through that we're making sure that it's a Windows mop, um, pop up window that sh says like open directory. So, again, when we do open folder, this is an open directory thing. If we were doing like a save one, we would do save, whatever. We get the results and we, re we handle the errors as well. So, now that we have access to that, inside of this, we're going to return it back to the render process. Now, that's actually all we really need. In fact, inside the render process, when I do npm start, beautiful. And we actually do this, you can see, we get a select folder window, which is very good. Which means I can select a folder such as my desktops. And if I select, nothing happens. And that's by intention. We're just saving the results, but we're not actually doing anything with them. And let's actually do something with it. And I figured to actually do this demonstration, we would put whatever file we grab inside of this folder location input field. Um, and just kind of show it to the user that, hey, this is the file you grabbed kind of thing. So I'm going to add an ID to this input and call it um, uh, folder, folder, just folder uh, path, folder dash path. Perfect. So we'll say, um, first what we're going to do though is we're going to console.log 
results. Because let's see what we're actually getting back here. So if I actually control shift I, we can bring up the console. Um, and I just dock this to the side. There we go. So when we actually open this, what you'll see is if we select a folder like desktop and hit select, this is what we get. We get an object containing two different values. Canceled, which is a Boolean, and it's false if we just select the folder, but say we hit cancel, this will be true now. And then we get an array of all of the paths that we selected. In our dialog window, we had the option to have multiple selections, but this array will only be of one length or zero length, depending on if we cancel or not. So yeah, let's get access to that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check if the results, results.canceled, if result.canceled, I think is what it was. Ah, I already select cancel CNC. Yeah, if result.canceled is true, then we'll just do an alert that says, um, actually, we, we won't do anything. We'll just kind of return here. Beautiful. And that means if we get to the stage, the results did not get canceled. So what we'll do is we'll have a constant for our const uh, file path input is equal to documents dot get element by id file path okay and then we can do file path input dot value and set it equal to result dots now, if you were actually setting multiple values and things like that, we know that we're only selecting one. So we know that this is going to be an array of one length. So again, file paths is an array of one length in this case. So we can do that. And in fact, we'll just have another if check if results dot file paths dot is equal to one. Then we'll say File path input dot value is equal to result dot file of zero. Beautiful. And if else, then we will say, um, what will we say? Just alerts. Um, yeah, we'll we'll never get to this stage, but yeah. So with this, we now should be able to um, append the value of that when we select a file. So if we select desk desktop, boom, what happens? We got an error. I can already tell, yeah. Cannot set property value of null. And that is because I probably messed up somewhere. Or, ah, I already gave it a ID. And okay, this should work now. So if we come in here and we go to local disk C and then we go to users, my name, and let's just go to like music and we select, okay, we still got an error, what's happening on here? <laughs> What's the property value of control? File path. Oh, it's folder path. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. So if we select and what do you see right here? We get it right in here. And that's basically it. Um, right here, we are able to select a folder. And okay, if I just select one, I'll just do look at this D. And we're able to get access to it. So this is a very secure way because we're using the preload script. So we're not actually giving access to um, the dialog option in the render process. And that's why this is important. It's a lot of extra work to go through the context bridge, but this means that again, um, a malicious user can't just open dialog boxes and things like that, you know? So yeah, that is basically it for opening a dialog box in Electron. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in a future video. See ya. Peace.